what's up and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanna to talk to you today about a crazy story that I heard over the weekend. And it kind of reminded me of another video that I wanted to do um, about another situation, but I never made that video. So now I'm gonna talk about it here. Before I do, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please do not forget to uh, turn on all post notifications so that you don't miss when I come out with another video. And most of all, don't forget to go to my website at www.letstalkdarling.com and subscribe there for email updates, visit the merch store, follow me on all my social media platforms so that we don't miss a beat with one another. All right, so let's talk about this. So in the Cayman Islands, 18 year old Skylar Mack was arrested okay, because she broke the mandatory 14 day quarantine. So here's the story in a, in a, in a short version. Okay. So <clears throat> apparently Skylar's boyfriend lives in the Cayman Islands. He is a, a competitive jet skier and amidst everything that's going on, Skylar and her parents thought it would be a great idea for her to take a trip to the Cayman Islands to go visit her boyfriend, knowing that she had to be in a 14 day quarantine. Now you all know that I don't agree with masks and I don't agree with quarantines, but it is what it is, okay? When you are going into another person's business, when you are going to another country, COVID or no COVID, when there's rules, you have to follow them. You may not like them, but if you wanna go there, you gotta follow the rules, okay? So Skylar went there, they slapped a little uh, monitor, I guess, on her wrist that allowed them to see if she was obeying the quarantine. And on day two, Miss Skylar decided, screw this, I'm taking this bracelet off, I wanna go watch my boyfriend in his jet ski competition. So she goes to the jet ski competition, no mask, no social distancing, and she gets arrested. Why did she get arrested? Because they found out she had evaded her quarantine uh, restriction that she was supposed to be on. So let me give you a little bit of background on Skylar. I don't really know too, too much about her, but to me, it kind of sounds like she comes from a well-off family. Uh, she's a pre-med student at um, a university in Georgia. And she flew to the Cayman Islands on November 27th. So she had been there for quite some time uh, to vacation. Now she did test negative before she left Georgia. And then she also tested negative for COVID upon arrival in the Cayman Islands. So she didn't have COVID when she got there. <clears throat> now, not only did Skylar get arrested, but her boyfriend also got arrested for aiding and abetting in what she did. Okay. So basically because he encouraged, didn't try to stop her from coming to the tournament to watch him jet ski he also got arrested, okay? Now her parents <clears throat> have basically gone and said that while she knew what she was doing, you know, she made a mistake, she shouldn't have done it. They don't feel like her daughter needs to be in jail for the four months that she is now having to serve. She also had to pay a $2,600 fine, which she did pay out of her savings. And they made it a point to say that her savings was depleted almost because she had to pay this fine. And now they're calling on President Trump to help get her released from the Cayman Islands and sent back home because poor little Tyler is miserable in the Cayman Islands jail. She's crying, she misses home, and she's just never been in that type of environment before. So here's what I have to say to Tyler. Skylar, sorry, I keep calling her Tyler, but her name is Skylar. Skylar, girlfriend, you laid, you made your bed, now lay in it, okay? That's all I gotta say. You made the decision on an, any given day, if you just take COVID out of it, okay? Understand this, when you go to another country, you have to follow their rules because the law from the United States does not apply in other countries. Now, I want to make that a highlighted point because I always laugh, especially now when people talk about, you know, how terrible the U.S. treats immigrants, you know, and how they're going to leave because of how the U.S. treats immigrants. They're going to go to another country. They have no clue what it would be like in another country if they went there, 
They think that they're going to be under the protection of the laws that they're used to in the United States, right? No, 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 no. In most countries, you don't get to go there and just blatantly disregard the rules and blatantly break the law and they just let you get away with it like they do here in the United States of America. Over there, they will waste no time in picking your happy butt up and taking you to jail. And they don't give a damn how blonde you are, how cute you are, how rich your mother and father are. They will take you to jail and they will keep you there and they don't have to answer to anybody in the United States. Now, of course, the US consulate will do their best to fight for your rights, okay? But there's no guarantee because they don't really have any jurisdiction in other countries, okay? So, the reason why earlier in the video I brought up another situation that I was gonna talk about because this one kind of reminded me of it, was a video that was uh, circulating around the internet of a mom and a dad who were kicked off of an American Airlines flight. Was it an American Airlines flight? I think it was. It was either American Airlines or it was something else. But they were kicked off because their two-year-old wouldn't wear a mask. Do you want to try putting it on her? Yeah. 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 Now, this particular airline's policy is that children two and older have to wear a mask. So I saw a lot of people online, you know, talking about how, oh, it's terrible that they had to do this and they were forcing their kid to wear a mask and kids shouldn't have to wear a mask. I agree with you. Kids shouldn't have to wear a mask. Nobody should have to wear a mask. But again, I go back to the fact that you willingly bought a plane ticket, knowing what the rules were for that airline. You took your kid on there and then you turned on your phone to record hopefully a viral moment of the airline forcing you to get off the plane because your kid was not going to comply with the mask rule and you were not going to make them comply with the mask rule. I'm sorry, hate me for it, but I just don't agree with it. Here's the thing, people, don't go on airplanes, into private businesses, uh, into other countries, if you're not going to follow the rules. It's not about you liking the rules, it's about you following the rules. And then don't be surprised when you end up with the consequences. That's all I really had to say about it. I just wanted to put those uh, two stories out and let you know where I stand with them because frankly, I hope President Trump does nothing to help this girl. I hope they let her sit there for four months, which in reality is not that bad. Um, four months in jail, serve your time, learn your lesson, maybe find a boyfriend that's in the United States that isn't gonna you know, make you go to things that you shouldn't go to, get you in trouble, okay? Maybe you'll make better decisions next time around. But I think that you need to you know, basically lay in the bed that you made yourself and that's that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm being a little harsh? Uh, what would you do if this was your kid? Would you even let your kid go? I wouldn't, but you guys let me know what you guys think. Please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much and have a good one. Bye-bye.